What's up everybody? Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net and behind me you'll see another Lincoln Town Car 2009 Signature Limit. But this is a very, very special Lincoln Town Car that I kind of got a special announcement to make. If you're looking for the most perfect, the most beautiful, most well-loved Lincoln that I've probably had and I can't even remember how long, you're gonna want to watch this video if you don't want that if you don't want the nicest one disregard this video right now because you're not going to want to see this car this is an absolute stunner 2009 signature limited 34,000 miles one owner car that the first and only owner bought this car when he was 78 years old unfortunately at 91 he passed but his pride and ownership of this Lincoln is here for the next owner to continue on and carry on. And I hope that could be you. Let's take a look. And here it is, a beautiful 2009 Lincoln Town Car Signature Limited in Silver Birch. Now this car is a very special car. I know I said it in the intro and I don't think I'll be able to stress it enough in this video of the special I don't know, characteristics of this car, uh, the history of this car. It's a one owner car it was bought by a retired Air Force veteran uh, who bought this car brand new when he was 78 years old. Bought it from a local Lincoln Mercury dealership. Uh, I had it serviced there its entire life. Now, one of the cool things with this car, uh, other than the amazing, amazing condition which you're gonna see in this video, is the fact that when he bought this car, they somehow convinced him to buy a $799 lifetime synthetic oil change program at said dealership. Now, usually when that stuff happens, especially with older folks, um, they don't usually take advantage of that. And they bring it elsewhere and other places to have oil changes and, you know, warranties and stuff like that go unused. This guy took full advantage of it. They limited him to four synthetic oil changes a year, no matter the miles. And he took full advantage. I have a stack of service history with this car. Always dealer serviced. Everything. Oil changes. Struts. Uh, you name it. Even at one point, one of the R's fell off the town car emblem, which is kind of common. He even brought it back there and they, they covered it and repaired it at no extra cost. And that wasn't too long ago. So obviously, he was a well-liked customer, well-appreciated customer at this dealership. Uh, I even have some service records of this car when it was in for service, oil changes or whatever, that he would request uh, details. He'd pay $100, $200, $300 for a detail, and he'd be specific with what types of waxes they would use, how he wanted the car dried off. Uh, on most of the detail slips, it would say, please make sure that there's no water residue. Uh, in the trunk jam, on the trunk pocket. Very, very particular. And it shows because this car, I, I get a lot of nice Lincoln Town cars. Um, this might be one that you have to see in person to really appreciate. But this guy was a loving, caring owner of this car. Uh, and it shows. Yeah, I mean, it's something that is hard to probably describe because a lot of the cars that I get are low mileage, really clean cars. Uh, and you know, like a 20,000 mile town car, it's expected to be nice. Well, this one's got 34,000 miles on it. And they drove it, they enjoyed this car. They took it on long trips, but it wasn't spared the life of non-use, like say that 16,000 mile town car I have, which automatically gives it um, a you know phenomenal condition because it just hasn't been used. This car not only hasn't been used that much, but the people who had it just pampered it. There was floor mats on top of floor mats. There was trunk mats on top of trunk mats. Um, I mean, just the amount of effort that went into making sure this car lived a pampered life in the garage, you know, got the best treatment whenever it went uh, is obviously evident because this car came in and is absolutely beautiful. Now I'm gonna go around the car. I'm gonna show you a few very, very minor nicks, chips, whatever. Now, for anybody to say a used car is perfect, that's a lie. There's no such thing as a perfect used car. Once a used car is used, it can't be perfect anymore. Um, you know, you might be able to argue that on like a 500 mile car or a thousand mile car. 
you know, but this is a 13 year old 2009 Lincoln Town car that really shows to be near perfect. Uh, and I'm going to go around, I'm going to show you a few little minor, minor things. And I think you're going to be blown away by the condition of this car. First, we'll start up on the hood here and you can see the absolute gorgeous glisten and shine in that hood. The original HID headlights are in phenomenal, phenomenal shape uh, with no pitting or uh, discoloration. Like I said, this car did live in a garage. Fender is absolutely perfect. It's got a beautiful set of chrome 17-inch uh, wheels wrapped in beautiful Michelin Premier tires. Uh, again, just like that last 2009, it's hard for me to take these chunky, chunky Michelins off and put another tire on, especially when the owner was so adamant about the best of the best that he even put nitrogen air fill. That's what that green cap indicates in all four tires. So he had the best of the best tires put on, and he also apparently had the best of the best air put in it. Uh, you come down the door here, no dings, no scratches. Like, I mean, you normally expect to see something, door chips, nothing. Uh, very, very minor. I don't even know if the camera's picking this up. You can see a very minor s little scuff right there, right kind of on the corner of that. I'm trying to point it out. I think, oh yeah, you can see it right there. Very, very minor. Uh, you come up here, the glass is beautiful. The A pill, uh, the, I'm sorry, the B pillar. Piano black trim is beautiful. Original Carlite windshield is absolutely perfect. Stone and chip free. The roof is beautiful, no fading. You can see the beautiful paint shining off of that. Come down here, down the side of this car. And again, no door chips on the doors. Come down here, no chips on the edges of this door. Signature limited package, which by 2009, uh, they pretty much all were signature limiteds, I believe. Michelin Premier tire, again, a really nice tire. Date code, the 15th week of 2017. So they're not old Michelins, they're really nice Michelin tires. They ride beautiful. All the wheel pockets inside the wheels are really clean. This was an Idaho car and it was loved, garage, cherished. Um, I actually have a picture of this car in the original owner's garage, right next to a bullnose um ford f-series pickup so obviously he likes his ford products at 91 years old he knew what he liked and he stuck with what he liked i mean again no dings or chips or anything like that even on the bumpers now the bumpers are a common spot you come around the bumper there no divots no nothing the chrome is beautiful and deep tail lights come across the top of the deck lid beautiful even this chrome bezel here, again, no cracking. You can see me perfectly. The emblem has zero fading to it. Maybe a very minor, very minor little spot just starting there. All this painted area here is very common to start to discolor. When you take the license plate off, you, you notice it more. But again, this is absolutely perfect. This car lived in a garage its entire life. Back bumper is absolutely perfect. And the chrome, this is, this is, this tells the story of these cars. I get so many of these town cars in that you can really judge the condition, you know, by those little, little itty bitty pieces there, the weather stripping, you know, stuff like that. And this car just checks everything off perfectly again you come down the quarter panel here bumper is absolutely perfect you can see the chrome shining on those beautiful 17 inch wheels rear glass is absolutely perfect come up over the roof here front glass is perfect now this i left on in honor of the original owner of this car uh, proud Air Force veteran, so I left that on. Obviously, the next owner can feel free to do what they wish with that. But again, look at how nice these wheels are. Nitrogen filled. Uh, Michelin 225-60-17s. Again, glass is beautiful. Come down here, back doors, no chips, no divots, no door edges caught up here. Just really, really nice. 
Same on the driver's door. Even the driver's door. Absolutely. Well, maybe one little tiny itty bitty one right there. And I'm, I'm like trying my hardest to pick stuff out on this car because it's really that nice of a car. Driver's door is beautiful. This mirror shows really, really well. Little, little bit of bug, maybe. I don't know if that, yeah, that came off. Again, real, real nice down the side of this car. Beautiful two-tone pinstriping. That I will take full credit for. <laughs> Another beautiful 17-inch alloy wheel. No curb damage. No, again, corrosion in the pockets. Really nice tires all the way around. And there's a sticker up there that he had these tires religiously rotated uh, when the tires were needing to be rotated along with those oil change slips. Now, one little damage that I, I noticed, and it's really not damage. It's kind of like, I don't know, a defect. This is the corner light. I don't know how a corner light would have melted that. So I don't know if that was a defect when it was new. I mean, you don't really notice it unless you're like looking at it. And it's probably one of those things that I, if I didn't tell you, you might not notice it, but when you do, you can't unnotice it. But that's the inner lens that's melted. The outer lens is absolutely perfect, smooth, no distortion or discoloration. Again, these are HID headlights and they're in phenomenal shape. Chrome on the front bumper is beautiful. Now just very, very minor, little itty bitty chips, little scratch right there. Uh, that's just a little bit of wax build up. Up in the front here, license plate bracket is beautiful, no splits. Chrome grill, again, shows very nicely. Stand up hood ornament like we like to see. Uh, the last little bit see a little chip right there and then two very minor chips that were touched up right here on the top that's kind of hard to see but like right here you can almost kind of see a little distortion in the plastic again I'm like getting up on it to show you maybe just lightly bumped into something uh, that's it. This car is just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I was hoping to make a shorter video because the car is so nice, but I'm already at 11 minutes, 12 minutes. So let's get into the inside. While we walk up to the inside, don't forget to smash that like button. I totally appreciate all the love and support on the channel here. Uh, I absolutely love what I do. And if you're new to this channel, Definitely hit that subscribe button because you're going to want to see more cars just like this. And I got tons and tons of nice stuff coming up. Including Cadillacs. I've, I've kind of gone on a Lincoln Town car spree lately. But I promise the next car is going to be a nice low mileage Cadillac. Um, I have Broms coming. Don't worry. We're not all town cars here. Although I do have a nice little kick of them lately. Uh, interior is absolutely stunning in this car. It smells like a new car inside. It feels like a new car inside. You know, little stuff like these pull handles that just get wrinkly and cracky and, and loose is nice and tight. All the finishes are perfect. Door sills, all the stainless or aluminum trimming here that usually has little corrosion marks. Even the driver's seat. Now this car's got 34,000 miles, which obviously is low. It isn't a lot, but usually by 34,000, you see some type of wrinkling going on. Very, very minor. I mean, just absolute pride and ownership. The leather wrapped wheel is absolutely beautiful. You can feel the stitching. You can feel the grain. It's like when you get into it, you can feel that new car feel with this Lincoln. Carpeting, again, absolutely beautiful. Has the original hook. You know, even on this high traffic area is in really, really nice shape. You know, the leather is just nice and soft throughout. You have the Lincoln Star embroidered on the back of the uh, seat back. Come to the back door here, open that up nice and wide. Forgot to do the jam in the front, but believe me, it's nice. We're not going back now. Gotta keep on going. I gotta get these videos a little more efficient. Jams nice and clean, and again, no kids or, or pets or anything back. I mean, look at this wood tone, just beautiful pull handles, unused, 
carpeting, sill plates. Oh, I wish you could smell this car through this camera lens. Again, leather is absolutely soft and supple, just how it was designed to be. Rear package tray is beautiful as well. Come around over here. The passenger side. We'll open up that big door. Again, inside the jams. Beautiful jams. I mean, look at this. This car needed very minimal reconditioning when it came in. Again, pride and ownership at its absolute finest. The leather is beautiful. No. Nothing even minor, like little tears or anything like that, or, or, or scratches. It's just absolutely perfect. Carpeting. I just went over it with a, a very, very light shampooing just to kind of get down to business and make it really, really pop. Door panel. Again, pop that ashtray. Very nice. The only defect that I noticed in the whole interior is this i first thought it was a scratch but it's actually a crack in the plastic like this screw was over tightened at one point i don't know if in service or i really doubt in service because there's no service record saying any of these doors have been apart so it might have been from the factory when this thing was this handle was screwed on but very very minor crack right there i mean you can literally eat out of these door jams the strikers are perfect. You got just enough grease on them. They're not like just jammed up with grease. Again, inside the jams. The hinges, perfect. The Lincoln script, perfect. Carpet, look at the perfect carpet. Oh my goodness. I shouldn't get excited about carpet on the Sunday. But I mean, just again, these seats are just so beautiful. I gotta calm down a little bit uh, because I'm getting a little, a little too excited about this town car. But this is stuff that I absolutely love to see. Dual flip open. I'm starting to sweat. Dashboard again, perfect. Dash pad, rearview mirror, headliner. Beautiful, like a stone gray, just like the last 2009 I had, uh, and then the 2009 L I had before that. All the buttons and switches. These little compartments, just absolutely wonderful. All right, let's jump behind the wheel. We'll start it up, I'll pop that trunk. I'm gonna pop the hood, show you some details, and let's take it on the road. All right, we're behind the wheel of this stunning, stunning, stunning. I won't use beautiful, I'll use stunning because that's what it is. 2009 Lincoln Town Car. Now currently, I always show you the keys and the situation I got going on here. Currently, I only have one original key remote and the valet key with one of the original tags from when this car was new. Um, I was hoping that the estate would find the other key. So far, they haven't. Um, when this car sells, this car will come with two, you know, original style keys. It might not be this Lincoln key, but it'll be a non-valet key, like a regular key uh, with the remote as well. So you have two of those, the valet key. I'm hoping it is missing the Lincoln emblem from one side. That's kind of weird. Never seen that before. Uh, but I'm hoping that they come through with the other key. 34,079 miles. Let me turn this air down, which is absolutely ice cold. And show you what else I have with this car. So we have the owner's manual packet, the original selling dealers, um, uh, business cards. Uh, I even have the original window sticker with this car uh, to show you how the options break down. Now this one, 2009 Signature Limited, four-door exterior silver birch. Uh, there's your standard equipment. Uh, and here's your optional equipment. So we have uh, included, there's a 3.27 ratio rear axle, dual zone climate, six disc in, six disc in dash radio, uh, front license plate bracket, no charge. HID headlights, $500. That's why you don't see those. 17-inch chrome aluminum 18-spoke wheels, $900. Daytime running lights. Those are kind of, eh, kind of lame. 50 bucks. Total options, $1,440. For a grand total of forty, almost $49,000. 
Uh, this is the dealer here that sold this car new and that serviced this car its absolute entire life. Uh, other than a few oil changes that I noticed that were must have been on road trips. Uh, here is a supplemental window sticker to be removed by the customer only. I uh, don't even know what it's about. Alternative fuel vehicle sticker, odometer disclosure. Now, I will say that they sold them this car with in uh, 2009. 12 6 of 09 it had uh, 11 miles on it the folks traded in a 1997 i have the original odometer disclosure uh ford crown victoria with 91,000 miles at that time here are all your books and stuff like that uh so all that stuff will come with it this is the mac daddy of it all i mean this is something i really really don't see often i very rarely see this type of extensive uh service I mean, just all oil changes and Lithia Ford, um, you know, just crazy amounts of oil changes, uh, you know, uh, custom estates, the blinker is blinking fast, you know, bulbs, uh, replace both front shock assemblies. That was at 30,000 miles, um, front struts, uh, chrome polishing, uh, brake inspections, but again, all oil changes. And I think somewhere, somewhere in the front here, I think this was one of the first ones right here. This was the first slip. Um, this was for a synthetic uh, motor oil change, uh, oil service plan. Synthetic oil every three months or 3,000 miles, not more than four times a calendar year. It's $799 which if you really think about it actually isn't that bad so i wouldn't say that's a gimmick These people were sold a comprehensive extended service contract on this car uh back in 2016 with 31,000 miles for a total of 4600 dollars now the car has gone like 3,000 miles since then and I'm sure in most of these, you know, this is in chronological order. So I'm sure in most of those service slips, um, you know, they got some type of uh, benefit out of it. But I don't think they could have got much benefit, um, you know, in 4,000 miles. What could have gone wrong in 4,000 miles? Anyways, we'll get back to the trunk here. You can see I have all four original floor mats. Even the driver's floor mat isn't like beat up or anything like that. And you can see, like even this little brass thing usually gets all corroded and kind of crappy is shiny. Like little things like that really excite me. These are the original plates that came with the car. There's two of them there somehow stuck together. And this is the original license plate frame. I like to leave this stuff with the cars. Obviously, the owner of this car was a very proud U.S. Air Force veteran and probably a retiree from the Air Force. And that's why this car is so nice. And do what you want if you're the next owner of this car. You obviously don't have to put the license plate frame on. You can't put the plates on. But I like to leave it with the car. That way I know it went with the car to really signify that, you know, how special this car was and the previous owner, how much love and care he gave it. Do what you want. Throw it away. It's the day you get it. Uh, you'll be an asshole, but I won't say anything. <laughs> it's not a, none of my business. Keep it in the trunk. Just leave it in the trunk. Push the button like I've shown you a few times. One, two, opens and closes. That works absolutely perfectly. And then the trunk pull down, pulls it down as well. Come up to the front here. Now, I just had this thing running with the air conditioning on, so it's probably, yeah, Oh, it's frosty. It is frosty. But look at how clean this engine... I mean, look at this. Would you look at that? Would you just look? Just look? I don't know if anybody gets that. Would you just look at that? Would you just look? <laughs> but this car is just so, so nice. I mean, I mean look at this. this. This car looks new. Look at the nuts, the bolts, the fasteners, the plastics are beautiful. You know, look at... I mean, that's... You can see the stamping, the little dots, whatever the dots are for, the dots are still there. That's the excitement of this car. It hasn't been worn off. It hasn't been cleaned. I don't know where this guy came from, but uh, he is not coming along for the ride anymore. Sorry, pal. Um, just, I don't know. I, I, I get excited over little things like this. Um, you know, 
how clean things are. Motocraft battery under the hood. Oh, wow, this guy, look at that. Just look at the block. Look, would you just look? Let's take it for a ride. All right, let's take this town car out on the road. Now this car is just, as much of a pleasure it is to look at, it's a pleasure to drive. And like I said, in that stack of receipts, there are some receipts for oil changes at four dealerships in like Louisiana. So I don't know if they they traveled and this was like their highway car that was used for that. Um, what is kind of crazy to me is that they bought a lifetime oil change service at their local dealer, which I'm sure you had to bring it back there for that synthetic oil change. But synthetic oil lasts like what, six, 7,000 miles? I'm sure that <laughs> the gentleman who drove this car if he drove it to Louisiana and they put 3,000 miles on, they weren't going to make it back before that oil change was due. They had the oil changed, uh, you know, not at home, and they paid for it, which is insane. I would have been like, well, just wait till we get home. But again, pride in ownership. Let's beat these guys up the ramp here. Uh, and he wasn't taking uh, any time or any chances of going over that 3,000 mark uh, for an oil change. So up on the highway, she's smooth as butter. Uh, smooth as butter, smooth as silk, I don't know, whatever word. It's just, it's a phenomenal highway cruiser. Tracks down the road, perfectly straight, nice and smooth, Michelin, uh, premium Michelin tires, I forget the, the, the model, uh, but ice cold air, everything works, the power foot pedals, the attraction button and all that stuff. Uh, let's see here if we can get cruise control set. Cruise is set. Um, all the windows work, uh, everything works. This car, again, was just pampered. It wasn't that it's nice because it wasn't used. This car was also, on top of not being used, was also pampered. And sometimes I see that and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just see grandma's 30,000 mile car. It's got some nicks and dings. I mean, you've seen them on, on my channel that, you know, they got a couple of small abrasions here or there. This car is not that car. And if you're looking for the nicest one, this is it. This is a no excuse car. Uh, and I'd really like the next person to be a no excuse car buyer. Someone who's looking for a really nice last of the good ones. And I say last of the good ones because 2009 was the last year they put air suspension in these before they really started to tune them down. You know, you didn't have this cool opening center console. You had a big, overstuffed pillow there that looks stupid and you know ford kind of started cheapening these things out in 2010 so 09 i think is the last of like the good town cars um you know this is a just it's a beautiful car anyways she's ready to go 978-930-1004 if you have any questions my name is anthony you can catch me on my website specialtymotorcars.net got tons of pictures listed there along with the video of the or the link to the video that you're watching right now uh price is all there price is also down in the description of this video if you have any questions again 978-930-1004 if you need the car shipped i can help you ship it i'm not going to bring it to you myself but i got guys i got guys to do that it's like one stop shop, one call does it all. You give me a call, hey, if they want to buy a Lincoln, but how can I get it to Utah, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Florida? Hey, I got a guy for that. Hey, guy, can you bring this car? I'd love to bring this car. Wow, that's a nice town car. Hey, guy, here's your town car. Everybody's happy. Anyways, thanks everybody for watching. Totally appreciate it. And as always, hit that thumbs up if you love what you're seeing, if you love what I'm doing here. I really appreciate that. Helps the channel grow. Uh, leave a comment down below. Papa Bear and I, especially Papa Bear. Papa Bear is all over the comments. Totally love seeing all the interaction, and he interacts right back with you. I do my best. I definitely monitor the comments, but I can't get back to everybody, and I totally apologize for that.